Welcome back to the India Connection. Today we've got a uh, little adventure taking place inside the home. What did we do this week? We cooked Indian food in America. Yellow doll and... Dal makhani. Dal makhani. We're going to save the dal makhani for next week because it took about eight minutes of finished footage time to just do the yellow doll. I didn't want to bore you with nonstop doll for the entire <laughs> video, so we'll break that up into two parts. Well, we'll just show you how we it We don't went. want it to be a dull video. Hello. Good morning. There's going to be a lot of guesswork. It's really weird to go from cooking doll in India to cooking it in America. It's just so different from my Indian pressure cooker. And I'm not doing gas, it's electric. These lentils soaked a long time. So I don't think we need that much water. And also, I kind of read the instruction manual for this. I don't think it's gonna take very long to cook either. Got our rice started in our rice cooker. In India, I would either boil it or pressure cooker it. Now in America, I stick it in this. Oh, there's our basmati rice. Dice. When I worked at Liza's Kitchen, I took a whole knife skills class and I learned the proper way to cut up an onion then. But I've since forgotten. Yeah, that's good. Then we can always salt afterwards. Okay, we also need some turmeric, some haldi. Uh, my guess would be, yes, a tablespoon. I mean, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon, whoa. Yeah. Some bay leaves. That's what they're called, dage patta? I'm not sure if it's the exact same thing, but I believe it is just bay leaves. So just put a couple in there. According to the recipes I was looking at, it was, I think seven minutes is going to be enough. In India, you you, you gauge everything by whistles. <laughs> it does seem like a lot of ginger. Well, you want it to be tasty now, don't you? Garlic. Garlic. Do you remember that? Do you know from yeah, Emerald? Emerald. Emerald Are we putting both of these in? Yeah. Garlic makes it all better. All right, here's my that's, lovely garlic that's press. That's it. I just... Yeah. Yep, and just it. squeeze it over top. Smells very good. Oh yeah. Jira seeds. That's the smell right there. That's the smell of doll to me. Just, you know, a couple more. <laughs> just a little bit more. Yes, we should definitely stick some ground in there. Just kind of, this is where I just kind of stick some stuff in. Like, hmm, how about some of that? We already have turmeric in there. Okay, definitely need some. I had to go buy some tania powder. So in America, it's called ground coriander. Oh, I'll be like, oh, it's dunia. It's, um, what do we call it in America? Coriander, or we we typically call it cilantro. And we use it fresh in Mexican food. Stick a little bit of this in there. Got a masala. Stick a little bit of that in there. Now, we do not have any Indian chilies or any chili pepper. So cayenne red pepper is the closest kind thing. of the, I, th I think it's the closest thing. Now I would take advice from any Indians living in the States and cooking. But would you replace you, yeah, would red you chili use, Or do you go to your market and buy like red chili powder from India? I am cheating and using canned already paste up for me. Cheaters never prosper. Hey. That's why we haven't. That, that's, that's why it. we haven't made it. That's why we haven't made it. Brilliant. Of course I am. I thought I turned the stop record button, so but I didn't. I've got an incompetent uh, sous chef and uh, <laughs> incompetent camera two. Camera. But uh, this smells good. And also, what does GOP stand for? Shut your face. Why don't they have an parties? Why don't they have an acronym? Democrats? Yeah, why don't Democrats have an acronym? So to make them both mad, we could just we name our own acronyms. You'd be DOP, Dimwitted Old Party, and then GOP, Gay Old Party. There you go. Anger Def them both. Stop her, she's possessed by the spirit no. of Emerald Lagasse. No. More garlic. No, you go. we gotta have some more garlic. That's definitely. Boom! Not. Up another notch! Bam! 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 bam. bam. Oh yeah. Another notch! She yeah. doubled the amount of garlic. Oh yeah. Emerald is pleased. But, I mean that is definitely, I mean right when you think back to our time in Noida, when Pinky would make this everyday doll, 
You loved it because it was salty and garlicky. Yeah, that's true. I loved her doll. I think yeah. her doll might be my favorite doll. I'm supposed to be able to turn this thing to venting and melt my window blind. Nice it also sings effect. to me when I put the yeah. lid on and go. off. There you go. Quote unquote. Diced tomato. <laughs> And really, I should probably put a lot more oil in, but I'm trying to be healthy. I don't know. It's kind of there. All right. Well, let's get some spoons and try it. Oh, I'm dripping. That's salty. salty. I think it needs more garlic. Uh, I don't know. Just a little bit. It definitely needs some more spice. Like, it needs more red pepper. It might. Yeah, it needs to be a little hotter. Mm -hmm. Man, that is a comfort food right there. Yeah, that's way go. better than I thought it'd be. All right, I'll put some. Hey, thanks. And look, half of that was you. You think it really needs more? Okay, oh. I won't. But next time, I think we need five, not four. <laughs> Good creep. Uh, that's not bad. I think that's the best thing I've ever contributed. Good. To. Well, the rice is ready. That's encouraging. No chapati to go with this. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, that'll be a future endeavor. That is something, something that I should have us... learned while in yeah. India, but was very happy to let Sonia and Pinky do it for me. I added more chili pepper. Yeah, that's better. It's more garlic. All right, <laughs> really? What do you think? I think it's good. I mean, I'm surprised we're in America and eating this. And I'm surprised that I had anything to do with making it. So good <laughs> job. You you had instinctive proportions Yay. correctly. That's pretty good. Happy day. That's a pretty good yellow doll, man. Really, what we need to do, we can totally cheat and just buy wheat tortillas and use that for roti. For, yeah, start. I think, you know, our year goal should be building a better us, being able to make, go down the list, start with roti, and end with parathas. Oh, what? No, parathas top of the list. You want to learn parathas first? Yeah, it's just a thicker. You just got to fold stuff into it. All right. I mean, I like parathas the best. So. Yum. I, I'm really surprised. It's, it's very good. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah. Yay. That's a win. That's a happy day. That's a happy day. A happy day. So I am a little out of practice, actually sniffling a little bit here. It's not, it's even, not even hot. It's not even very spicy. But uh, the one thing that we have noticed is the onions did not really... Saute them. well. No. I mean, they're just, they're kind of crunchy. We cooked but those for so long and they're still a little too crunchy. It'd be very rude here. So, you know what? Next time, what we'll do is we'll stick the onions in the pressure cooker with it. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay. Next that'll time, solve that problem. Well, that the, will solve, yeah, that'll, we'll just stick the onions in the pressure the cooker. The big diced tomatoes actually did not end up being a bad thing, I feel like. Good. Cheaters never prosper, but well, sometimes you don't. Prospered mind. enough for now. As a wise uh, YouTuber once put it, Mmm. 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 Wow, that is very high praise. Oh yeah, that, that's can a little. Can you can you guess who we're talking about? When you say that. When that 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 YouTube face that he just made. Did I do a pretty good job of impersonating? I thought so. Yeah. And if anyone, that is like, I think one of the sweetest YouTubers, most genuine. Yes. Like he makes that face because he means it. <gasps> like he just <laughs> loves food. So. Yeah. And I think, you know, I think that's one of the things about him. I feel like he shares the things that he likes. Mm -hmm. So probably when he finds something he doesn't like, he's just like, I'm just not going to post that video. Right. I don't know. It would be interesting. Maybe I should write him and ask him. Yeah. He's just one of the most Talk about a YouTubers. glint of optimism in yeah. his eyes. No, that guy really has a glint of optimism. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a picture. It's video. What do you think when you, walk, when you came home from school and you walked through the door, what did you think of that smell? Good. Smelled so good, right? Rohan's eating some nice, tasty lunch. We're just using a normal tortilla as our roti. Rohan pref prefers puri, but we do not have any. He calls it crunchy. We do not have any puri, so instead we have tortilla. So you approve of the doll? And when I eat it, it was the poon. It got piecier. How was that? Tasty, right? Yum, yum, yum. 
a success, I would say. I'd say so, yeah. yeah. Not to opening a restaurant. So Melissa's not too keen <laughs> on this next part, but we will take some constructive criticism if they think, you know, there are ways that you think we can improve no. our... Yes, y- yes, yeah. I know, I know. Yes, I'm sure there are many things that I could improve. Uh, especially from people who live in America and if there's some workarounds you have to, you know, duplicating or translating is probably the better word, mm-hmm. translating the cooking process into uh, American terms with our different cooking setups and all those kinds of things. So workarounds that you, you may have figured out if you're living uh, overseas, that would be helpful too. Mm-hmm. Satya didn't really get to react or be in the, this part of the yellow doll. So uh, she he, was at school. She was at school. So here's a little bit of Satya having nothing really to do with India in this uh, <laughs> little segment here. But when we were on our last little short mini adventure to Tallahassee, we did stop in this bookstore and she picked up two books, Ender's Game and Ender's Shadow. And so uh, she's a pretty prolific reader. So Satya got Ender's Game when we were at the bookstore in Tallahassee after eating at Persis. That was on Saturday. It is Friday now. And how, how many pages are you into? 54. She's 54 pages into the second book in a week. Wow. So wow. leaving us all behind with your reading prowess. <laughs> okay. So how was Ender's Game? What would you get it on the emoticonometer? I give it, I give it five stars. It was a good sci-fi. Five stars out of five. Yeah. What is the emoticon though? Oh, XD. XD. All right. That's that's a good review. It's it's yeah. it really it's is book. all it's cracked up to be. My boss Alan is an avid viewer of our channel and has a question for you guys. Do Indians in India get upset about Native Americans being called Indians because they were mislabeled by Christopher Columbus or? So the story told, do they get upset because they're not actual Indians, but we call them Indians? Got another reading here from the Upanishads, the Katha Upanishad. It's the second time that the God of Death, or the King of Death, sorry, is uh, talking to Nachiketa. He says this, know that the self, and so this would be its capital S in this translation, so I'm assuming this refers to like the eternal aspect of a person. Know that the self is the rider, the body the chariot, The intellect is the charioteer and the mind the reins. The senses, say the wise, are the horses. The roads they travel are the mazes of desire. The wise call the self the enjoyer when he is united with the body, the senses, and the mind. I just think this is actually a really interesting picture. It's it's a good metaphor to actually enjoy something. You're united in this. If you let your body, which is the chariot, and your senses, which are the horses, go wherever they want in this maze of desire, you're actually not going to be enjoying in the fullest sense. When a man lacks discrimination, not of the racial kind, but of the discerning kind, you know, when a man lacks the ability to discern good desires from bad desires, when a man lacks discrimination and his mind is uncontrolled, his senses are unmanageable like the rest of horses of a charioteer. But when a man has discrimination and his mind is controlled, his senses like the well-broken horses of a charioteer lightly obey the rein. And I just think, again, that's a great picture now more than ever. I mean, you think about when this was written a very long time ago. They were comparing senses to horses. We could compare our senses to like a thousand drones that are pulling us in a thousand different directions. Sensory overload experiences that this becomes even more important. So if we have that discernment, that discrimination and control our mind, then we can control our senses and get everything working together. You know, I, I mean, every day I'm guilty of letting the horses, the senses, just pull me through the maze of desires. And they're just, it is a maze. That's a great, again, metaphor for what we deal with. And I think too often we we think in terms of freedom from external oppression, but we don't think of think of freedom from internal oppression or freedom from things that are pleasing. Senses can divert us from things that are more important. So this, again, is not advocating a monastic retreat, navigating through the maze of desire rather than running from the maze of desire, which I think is just such a typical temptation for anyone in religion, whether it's East or West. There's this temptation just to kind of self-abnegate and, you know, retreat from the world, you know, retreat from sense experience. And this is saying, no, you just have to control it. And that's just such a, a prudent metaphor. I just think that's pretty fantastic. If you have any thoughts about the Kata Upanishad or the specific metaphor there or any things you think I'm kind of overlooking, uh, let me know. One of our random online discoveries this week came into form of the YouTube trending in America. We discovered something that kind of caught us by surprise. So today, trending the number one on 
on India, on, on YouTube, not YouTube India, but just YouTube. Is this Grandpa? Grandpa Kitchen. Grandpa Kitchen. Mother Dairy. Mother Dairy. Baking powder. Baking powder. This is a true grandpa. Why is this number one? I think this is. I'm, I'm, I love it. And I went to work the next day, and Eric, one of my coworkers, was talking about watching Grandpa Kitchen make butter chicken. It was it was crazy. Three degrees of separation things like uh, the reach of India. It's happening via YouTube via Grandpa's Kitchen. So on the India Connection subreddit, we do have a submission by Planet OF or Planet of. Thank you, Windows. <laughs> I agree the lack of mainstream band culture in India is disappointing. However, I made a list of some Indian indie bands and musicians you should definitely check cool. out. Sky Rabbit. Raghu Dixit, The Local Train, Pratik Kuhar, When Chai Met Toast. That's a <laughs> great name. I am going to introduce one to Melissa that I saw, and I can't remember, how did I see this? Did someone in the comments suggested this, and I can't remember who it was. Sorry for forgetting. I'm gonna show this to Melissa. We're going to react, proper react. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really interesting. This is just a fantastic music video. Okay, we're about to watch this video. And we're going to talk about and it. And we're going to talk about it. So watch so it. Just go ahead and watch it if you haven't seen it yet. It's a very good music video. It's a little bit long. I almost clicked out of it a minute and a half in uh, because I'm ADD. But I'm telling you, if you're ADD, you should watch the whole video. This is worth watching. Good music. Really interesting message. It will depress you for days. But for a good reason. Um, watch it. So it's the band Taikudam Bridge. Very ornate music video. So strap yourself in. Are you ready? Oh, I guess so. It's kind of hard to keep it in mind, but do keep in mind the lyrics. It will come into play later on. Um, this is really about loss of culture. Painting with dark colors. That's what it's like. Think about it in those terms. Okay. It's really well shot, too. Mm -hmm. How did they even shoot that? That's pretty hard. Right. <laughs> I think this lyric right here. Art has become a monstrous ghost of its former self. And I think that globally... <laughs> There are those of us who have that frustration with mainstream film, music. Well, what's interesting is these guys are mad because the kid's different, but then he comes in and by the end, right, everybody's watching him, like paying attention to him. So mm -hmm. he's kind of the ideal and they actually wish they, they could be him. I mean, you think about how technical this music is here, even though it's, it's mm -hmm. metal, but it's incorporating this, uh, these ancient forms mm -hmm. and it's just seamlessly mixed yeah no it's it's, yeah, it's I really love, good i love the music the music video is really good and I she's not even really a metal like you're not a metal no i'm head, not so. i'm not not really yeah but, but i think it actually works better yeah. than a lot of metal because it's just it just seems like the way that the double uh bass kick uh merges with those traditional rhythms uh, mm -hmm. No, this is pretty cool. So you don't remember how you found this? Uh, it's a viewer on the YouTube channel. So I can't remember who it was. Um, and I'm wow. sorry, we're just pressed for time this week. Uh, thank you so much for pointing well, this out. We were sad. I'm like so depressed now. <laughs> well, you know, uh... pop culture destroys uh, culture of merit so often. So anyways, I so thanks, thanks to Planet Of, uh, to Oname. We will look at those. We'll do one a week. A Indian uh, song that is not Bollywood related. Uh, and that'll be that'll be good. And this one was from South India. We don't nef necessarily get too much from South India, so it was good to get a little yeah. uh, Malayali in here, and so that's good. And one other thing that didn't make it into last year, last year's, last year, uh, we had one other thing that didn't make it into last week's India Connection, something we saw, a fun restaurant in Mumbai that we recommend you try out. This would be cool. If you're in Mumbai, Super cool. one of you go there, do a taste test, do a little vlog, upload it to YouTube, and we'll reference amazing. it. I, just so we can live vicariously. You want us to react to something? Let us react to you eating some sushi kati rolls. Aww. There you go. That would be a great That would be one. awesome. I would love to react to that. So we'd love to react to that. Someone go to, uh, I can't remember where it is. I say it here. But uh, check out this sushi kati roll and uh yeah stick it on instagram and then or, yeah link instagram it, link it or to, facebook I mean, or whatever you don't have like, to you don't have to put it on youtube yeah put right. it on facebook or instagram we'd love to or google we'd love to pretend that we're there with you yeah or you can email us at the serving violence violence at gmail you can put it in the subreddit wherever like wherever but check this out that'd be pretty cool that'd if you're in so mumbai cool. so here's a kind of cool little thing i just stumbled across on facebook 
Someone had shared it. Yum. It's a sushi chicken roll. That is interesting. That's super Sweet. Fun. So if you're in Mumbai, go to Mandra West. And go to Yugo Sushi. So they're doing sushi coffee rolls. <laughs> I love it, dude. I'll tell you right now. This guy, see, this is great. Oh, this is it's, exactly what we're talking it's, about. You have to come up with a new total. Desh, Desh, Deshanese. Deshanese. It's Deshanese. Deshanese. There you go. I like this guy. I do. Wish I could meet him. It would be super fun. He's All right, look, look support guy. this guy. He's, looking, he's, he's an original thinker, like, Boy, I'm a, you like a cross-cultural thinker. That's it. We were always trying That's to do dash awesome. mechs, yeah. you know, like Mexican in, food yeah. mixed with Indian food. So this is perfect. This is legit. Deshanese. Yeah. Deshanese. Cross-cultural, creative food there in Bandra West. Yeah, dude, Man. check that out. You go sushi. I was already missing my coffee rolls. Mm -hmm. Now... I want some sushi roll. Yeah, you're. And she's not even a big sushi fan. But no, he, man, yeah, that's I would. Okay, avocado. Just leave any fish off of it. That is. Yeah. That is really cool. All right, so that's about it for this week. Uh, thanks to everyone who watched last week's video, and uh, we just felt really thrilled, encouraged by the amount of views we got Super there. Super thrilled. All right. Until next time, keep it creative. Keep it cross cultural. Keep it constructive, YouTube. Thank you very much.